What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 video. Today we're doing the Iron Leaves moveset guide. I covered Walking Wake earlier today. Like I said, these Pokemon are currently not legal in Series 2, but they're bound to be legal either in Series 3 or some future format. So this is more like just taking a look at their stats, the Pokemon that are somewhat common and competitive right now, uh, and figuring out what sort of place they would have in competitive uh, once they are legal. So if you guys enjoy this and they play in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. That's my common question of the day, which is how would you run Iron Leaves? Let's get into this. I have three movesets for you guys. They're very basic, but that's how Iron Leaves is. It feels like a very basic Mon that might have a few uses, but yeah. Uh, unfortunately, right off the bat, I have to say where my Walking Wake Guide included options for like Torkoal on your team, I highly recommend just like not going for Pinkurchin with this dude. Uh, it's very rare you'll have Electric Terrain up next to this guy unless you like set it up manually maybe like when tapu coco gets released like we'll be able to use him next to these uh this thing and he'll be like fairly good actually he'll probably be really good but uh yeah for now just assume that electric train isn't up and that's why booster energy is like way more important for this dude so yeah let's get into this uh the first set that i have for you is actually just booster energy sword stance which i think is actually really threatening uh, it's gonna be able to instantly boost its speed to a really high tier it's gonna outspeed basically everything uh, at plus one. The only things that it's not going to outspeed are like Choice Scarf Pokemon that are faster than it, or obviously Booster Energy, um, Walking Wake, Fluttermane, Roaring Moon, things that speed boost. Like you have to be careful with that. So maybe some speed control next to it will be very welcome. Tailwind or maybe like a fast Icy Wind. Uh, so that's like important. But the way that you'll use this guy is probably just going to be with like a Fake Out Pokemon next to it or some Redirector and Swords Dance plus Booster Energy and try to get as much damage off as possible with your three main attacks being Leaf Blade, Psy Blade, and Sacred Sword. Now, I actually recommend Sacred Sword over Close Combat most of the time because Don Dozo is a thing. And uh, while a Leaf Blade crit could annihilate it, for non, you know, water type Don Dozos, for the ones that Terrastalize, Sacred Sword ignoring the stat changes is actually really nice for it. Uh, so yeah, I, by the way, just spoilers, I'm not going to put Ally Switch on any of these sets. I, I have I have a, a, a neutral good alignment. I'm not going to put Ally Switch on any of these. But yeah, uh, I do have to point out, it does have this really cool move called Psyblade. It's not as useful as the uh, Walking Wake signature move, which is a water type move that does extra damage in the sun instead of less damage. Uh, Psyblade is a psychic move that does extra damage in electric terrain as well as psychic terrain. So it's sort of flexible in that sense. For that reason, I actually highly recommend that if you were to run like this setup set next to a Pokemon, Indeedy is not a bad option. Uh, it does give you that psychic boost on uh, this guy's moves or on this guy's uh, Psyblade, uh, but also provides things like Follow Me as well as Helping Hand uh, and the terrain to you know just boost that entirely. But yeah, uh, Indeedy fairly good into it. Also blocks priority moves, so it makes it easy to set up. You don't have to run Quick Guard for that reason. But yeah, uh, I mean Psychic and Grass defensively, it's like a really bad Terra. If you were to tear this guy into anything, I would say fire isn't bad. You're not going to have to deal with like ground moves for the most part with this guy because you like beat all the ground type Pokemon, uh, rock type Pokemon as well. You're not really scared of that. You beat them into the ground uh, and you do have like coverage for those things with you, you do have coverage for like um, steel types with like Sacred Sword. So like that's like an option. If you want to defensively get something just a little bit better than this, uh, like a fire, like obviously protects you from like burns and stuff, but Synergistically, between, you know, Grass and Psychic, a decent Terra type for that would be something that would have to resist uh, Dark moves, that would have to resist uh, Ghost moves. So I actually think that, like, Terra Dark itself isn't bad. It does prevent, like, Prankster will -Wisp, which isn't, like, common this gen, but it does prevent Prankster moves. You can't be, like, Encored in your Swords Dance or anything, uh, and it makes it so you're no longer, like, too scared of you know, ghost moves uh, from Golden Go or, you know, just anything really. Just defensively, Dark's a lot better than what you're working with. Basically, any type besides Grass Psychic is better than Grass Psychic. Uh, it's one of the worst typings defensively you could get. But yeah, uh, I will say that this thing's like high attack and high speed, like work well in its favor. But uh, its second highest stat uh, is actually its special defense stat. So we can actually take advantage of that. This is an Assault Vest set that I made specifically to help out with uh, some common threats in the metagame. If we actually take a look at um, Iron Leaves here, oh, I didn't import this set into the damage count. Give me a second. Not AV support, but you know. 
Iron leaves. Can we take a look at this set? Uh, versus Fluttermane, it actually does decent into it. Fluttermane is going to be doing 48 to 58% uh, to this guy with Shadow Ball. Uh, and obviously, Fluttermane, one of like the most powerful Pokemon in the metagame, is very threatening. If you want to go for like a Terra Grass into this thing, your Leaf Blade will just one-shot Fluttermane, obviously. Uh, but if this Fluttermane were to go for like a Terra Fairy move, or Terra Fairy previously in the match, and they are running Focus Sash, this set is actually able to just guarantee a KO because we do have Quick Attack on it. And it might sound a little bit weird, but Quick Attack is ironically a very decent move. You see that um, Leaf Blade does 88% to a Terra Fairy Fluttermane, and then you'll be able to follow it up with the Quick Attack to guarantee the KO versus Focus Sash sets. Uh, as for other Pokemon that you have to deal with, obviously Iron Bundle is like one of the best in the metagame right now, uh, and it's extremely scary. It'll either run Sash or Booster Energy. So what I did with this set is I just guaranteed that you're going to live like freeze dry, whether or not it goes for like Terra, like let's look at like Terra Ice. Um, yeah, Terra Ice here. The freeze dry, you're going to be able to like live that pretty easily. Icy Wind, you'll live that pretty easily. Uh, and the Leaf Blade will just guarantee uh, one shot non-Terra Ice. Uh, because I just think that's like a decent benchmark. I didn't know how much attack to put into it, and I figured that if I'm not one-shotting Iron Bundle, I I'm doing something very, very wrong. But yeah, uh, it does good damage, and obviously you're not going to be able to attack boost at this thing. You're going to be speed boosting, or you're going to be attack boosting with like your, you know, Quark Drive if you manage to get that like electric train up. Uh, but like you're mostly just going to be stuck, right? Like this set's like a speed boosting set, but this set's technically an attack boosting set. The speed is actually just straight up dumped in there to outspeed base 100s, which that's kind of important. Um, a lot of the Pokemon in the 100 speed tier you don't want to get outsped by. Uh, if we just take a look at things below it, Chi Yu will eventually be important, but we have like stuff like Salamence, Halifin, uh, Staraptor isn't too big, but like Volcarona. Being able to hit those before they hit you is pretty important if you want Iron Leafs to work at all. So yeah, uh, that's just like my general Assault Vest set. I would actually run this over the Booster Energy set personally. I think you're going to get a lot more value out of this thing. But it is Intimidate food, and Arcanine is like super common in the metagame. So if you want to look into ways to possibly not lose to Arcanine, uh, a Terra Fighting option might not be bad for close combat or Sacred Sword to do decent damage in that guy. But yeah, getting Intimidate cycled with this guy is not going to be fun. I don't think it's going to be like top tier, but I think it'll at least have some kind of place in the metagame. My last set is just going to be very basic. It is like the booster energy set but less risk and also less reward this is focus sash we're running focus sash quark drive swords dance leaf blade close combat side blade it's just going to do what it says in the box you're going to go for swords dance you're going to make sure you survive a hit uh versus basically anything and then you're going to get a ko with leaf blade 130 attacks nothing to scoff at man close combat also does a lot of damage and side blade not that bad it, it's better than psycho cut right like psycho cut does it get psycho cut it doesn't get Psycho Cut, but Psycho Cut's like 70 base power. I'd prefer to run Psyblade here, obviously. Even if it got Psycho Cut, you wouldn't run it. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I feel like this guy's sort of at a loss. I, I You kind of have to run the Assault Vest set, in my opinion. I'm sure someone will make this work in some way. And it does have like a lot of decent tools. It has Endure if you want to do something crazy like that. It does have Trailblaze, which is kind of cool. I suppose you could actually like swap out Quick Attack for Trailblaze on this set if you really, really wanted to, and that'd be really decent. Or on like a Swords Dance set, you could just put like Trailblaze on it. Actually, this one might not be bad. Like Trailblaze Swords Dance, um, Side Blade over Close Combat. That could be pretty interesting, you know, if not a little, a little cringe. Uh, but other moves that it gets, uh, Helping Hand is decent. Iron Defense could be useful. I just, it, it doesn't have nearly as much like splash ability as the other Paradox form. And that's like not all that great for it, but yeah. Uh, another set that I want to mention is that on this booster energy set, if you want to drop one of these moves like Sacred Sword, you could actually throw Quash onto there, and it's a fairly decently fast Pokemon. I don't think Quash is going to be like the best thing ever, but having the option to slow down another Pokemon and allow one of your Pokemon to outspeed it, let's say you have like a Torkoal and the opponent has like a Pelipper, and your Torkoal can definitely pick up a KO even like though the rain is up uh, with like an eruption and all you need to do is make sure it doesn't like lose to the Pelipper, you could technically quash it and then like go for the eruption. That's a really strange and like niche example of how this would work. Uh, but like you get you get my drift, like being able to slow another Pokemon down to be last is really nice. And we've seen like Murkrow use it to decent success, but like it also has like Prankster, right? It also has Prankster, which sort of makes it a cohesive move that fits onto whatever moves that it needs to run. Iron Leaves, it feels like a little bit of a mess. Like, if you want to run, like, a, a decent Paradox Pokemon that's, like, a good physical attacker, I would just run, like, Brute Bonnet, personally. 
And like the only thing that this thing has over like Brute Bonnet, because they have because Brute Bonnet has like a similar attack stat, um, is the bulk on the special side. Actually, no, Brute Bonnet beats it there technically with that 111 HP. Um, it's like the speed, right? It has the speed, it has like the setup potential. It's it's just that like the thing that it's supposed to have over things, Psyblade being boosted in electric terrain. Electric terrain isn't nearly common enough for it to really work. You could try to run it with Pink Urchin. I just Pink Urchin itself doesn't like see results the way that you want it to. It does like do well in tournaments from time to time, but it's not like a metagame staple in the same way that Torkoal could be considered. So yeah, uh, I would say that Iron Leaves, I don't recommend it for a lot of teams, but you can certainly make it work. It's obviously a paradox form. It's going to work in some way, shape or form. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about my moveset guide. I know it was more of a cautionary, like don't use this thing uh, than it was like a, hey, here's how you can use it. But keep that in mind, like you can use it, right? So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.